Paribritta Jano Sirshasana. So it's a, uh, I have already shown a video about Jano Sirshasana that we will, in that we will do forward bending in this, we do lateral bending and also it's like slightly we will twist the upper, upper part like revolved Jano Sirshasana. So I'll show you first how to do, then I can explain about this more. So, Paribritta means slightly twisted revolved, Jano means knee, Sirsha means head. So slightly, after revolving, we have to bring the head close to the knee. So I'll show you, first twist the left leg, bring the right leg close to the body. Hold your toe with the left hand with these two fingers this way and from top of the head take your right hand and hold the toes and slowly start pulling it so this head should go, should go close to the knee this way now after bending see the spine is like this right once you bend eventually now slowly after bending we have to slowly revolve it twist it like this slightly towards the roof and slightly we need to look up and let the body breathe and you need to close the eyes once you, you know, get into asana but while learning you can open the eyes and do it see this way go to bending slowly adjust your hand this way and then slightly twist and try to look up close the eyes let the body breathe. If you can't hold it further, slowly release. You come back to center. And same, let's do the other side. Hold your left leg and stretch the right leg. With the two fingers, hold the toe this way. Not this way, this way. From top of the head, bring the left hand and hold the toe. Slightly pull it close to the knee and slightly this part try to twist it like this. This way. And don't control the breath. If you can't hold it for this slowly, come back to center and then relax. See, if you are a beginner, you cannot do this asana, no? Because uh, there will be a lot of stiffness. There won't be balance and stamina. So, for those, they have to do like this. See, some people cannot even stretch their leg like this. Their leg will be like this. They will be, their spine will be, you know, bent like this. Because there will be a lot of, you know, stiffness. So, then, for them, they have to do like this initially. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And then exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Do the same the other side also for a few days. After that, you can get the you know flexibility and stamina balance. Then you can do the asana easily. So if you're a beginner, directly don't get into the asana. You have to get the flexibility first. You need to improve the balance, stamina first. Only then you can attempt advanced asanas. Not just advanced asanas, any asanas you cannot do, you should not do directly. You have to get into asanas slowly, step by step. And coming to benefits, I have already shown about uh, benefits in the video, right? Janu Asana. Same benefits. You will get same benefits in this asana as well. So, for you to say it is a complete asana, okay? It is good for the entire system. From turn of the head to the toes, like brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, thyroid gland, all the glands, entire chakras, all the organs, you know, heart, lungs, intestines, digestive organs, kidney, lungs, liver, digestive problem, sugar, pancreas. You know, I have to mention everything then. That's why it is it, it's a complete asana. It is good for the nervous system, it is good for the muscles, it is good for the joints related issues. And it, it is good for the brain, as I said, like to improve the memory, focus, awareness, concentration. This helps a lot. And uh, 
menstrual problem, fertility issues, not just one, okay, this is like a complete asthma. And if you don't want to get into this physical problem, mental problem, you have to do this asthma. If you are already suffering with something, if you do this asthma regularly, you can heal by yourself.